Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about the Node.js and log4.js, the package. And like the previous video, we, we learned how we can global, uh, globalize uh, the logon file, so you don't need to setting up every time uh, but for that. In this video, I will uh, teach you about how we can make the TCP server and the TCP client. So if you have um, the locking server, you can just um, send it over the, the network. So if you have a lot of microservice where I need to transport the, the locking, you can just do it like this one. Make a make a locking server and then transport it from, uh, from all the clients. That's what I'm going to do. And as, as you can see here, I have a little change in my my package JSON file. I have creating the dev server and create dev client, and, and we need that. And then I have two files called server and client. We have it here over here, uh, here and client and the server. And uh, then we have the same package as before, so nothing has changed from the previous videos. This is a total build in in the log4.js uh, model. So I think you're ready to start now. So before we really start to code, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the left, uh, sorry, in the right corner and it's put in the bottom of the video. If you have any questions, please make the comments below and don't forget all my code will be for free on GitHub so you can find the link in the description below on the video. Thank you for watching and I hope to stay in the time. So let's go ahead to create the log for JS as required. And log for JS, we have it here. And then we have the log for JS. And Pentos. And uh, then we need out. Then we need file. File All the locks. And then we need to starting up the server. Type. Host and the port number should be six thousand. That's what I want. And then we need basically here just file and we need the out. And then we don't need anything else. If you run this one, it will not working. You can just say npm run server and you can see it's, it's yeah it's starting up the server and it's creating all the logs but it doesn't work so what we need here it's empty what we need is it's finding the way to starting to keep this image uh, the server online and the way I have done is just say npm install express I, I use a very simple way so I just installed express you can see now it's installed we have express and lock for js then we're going back for the server and we basically just say const express 
is equal to require express and this one I want to in the top and then we just say um, const apps equal to express and equal to 3000 and then we have the app get I don't, I don't want the right types right now, but I know if you're really in love with the TypeScript, then you just cry a little bit now, but I think that's okay for this example. Uh, hello world, and then we are almost ready. Listen, port. And then we just say locking um, and then we can just say the run the server and now could not found the model express. So of course we have some issues here and Okay, I need to spell it right and then we just start again and see how it's working Express cannot found the model, so something is going wrong here, and I will fix that up. Let's see about ah. Uh, okay, I think we need to type the right express model, and now it's correct. Sorry for that. And npm run the server. Now it should be running as it should be. So let's see what is working. Yeah, express server run. So now it sh should be uh, the error here. And uh, I can just open one up here and say, now I have the node and the server running here, and we have the client here. So npm run the client. Let's just see it's running. Let's do that. So that's perfect. So let's go in, uh, to the client here. And for the client, we almost need the same. We uh, just need to get a very nice one. So we can use uh, just the import configuration. Okay, lock on from lock for JS. And uh, then we need this, whoops, this one. inside here out and network I'll set up and say level debug and then we're going up here and create that and uh, we need one without as we really love this one type std out and then we need the network and we just say type tcp and then we say host should be localhost in this case and the port number should be 6000 we want to connect for that and uh, 
then I need to log off git log on. And then you're ready to go. And of course I need to shut down. We need to call the shutdown if we don't do this in the in the ending of the file, then we will crash the server. And everything is fine. So let's try to get the first one. And the logger info server test. And the client sending out and see about is the server sending server test and all logs here. So now we have the client where we can just say info. And just say TTP process info. Let's say debug one zero. If I run it again, it should be sending over. And yeah, you can see it's sending directly to the file, and we have it here. And of course, you can just change this. Um, shutdown should be sending when you finish the, the file, so you can close the connection. And if something is going wrong and you, and you hit the process exit command, then you need to close shutdown. If you don't do this, it's uh, it could make some noises on that. But it's something you need to, to play around with. Um, this this function here it's, it's very nice if you need to transport your logs to a main log server. So yeah, it's very useful. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions, please make comments below. I'll try to answer you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the link on the right corner on the subscribe button. And remember, all my code will be on the GitHub and the links will be in the description below. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time. Bye.